Enable features is where you can turn on very specific business features you need for your NetSuite system. Be aware that there's a lot of issues that can happen when you either check them as enabled or uncheck an already enabled feature. So be careful when you're doing that and understand the impact. This is the best Sweet Answers article to talk a little bit more about each of the features. You can dive deeper into each one of the tabs to learn more about what each feature does. For instance, let's look at classifications and departments. That's where we're actually located right now under company, classifications, and departments. It says track activity by department, division, or other category departments can be renamed to suit your needs. In the Sweet Answers article, it'll have the departments and give you a little bit different of a description to help you give a better idea of what this feature will do. There are some other enable features that are a little bit more complex and that you're going to want to understand the impact. One of them is advanced taxes. This is one of the good reasons why you need to dive into the effect of each one of these features. Otherwise, you might not know that as soon as you enable advanced taxes, you cannot disable it in the future. When figuring out more of what each of these features do, you can dive into them using these links and sweet answers to get more information of the specifics on what they can do. They can be a little bit technical, but it's very useful to read through this documentation prior to enabling any feature. Now let's look at all the features that we can have. There are all these tabs up here, company, accounting, tax, transactions, items and in inventory, employees, CRM, analytics, web presence, and sweet cloud. I could expand all of these even more, but I'm just gonna keep them in the tab form. As I scroll down, you can see that there's a lot of different features that I can enable. If you're in the discovery phase of figuring out if NetSuite is right for you, then this accounting tab is going to be one of the ones that you want to take a look at right away. All these features for accounting may be things that you need specific for your business, and some of them may not be too. But that will be up to you to decide what exactly you need for your business. Tax implications are a major thing for a lot of companies, and there are some things like I mentioned with advanced taxes. But there are also third-party companies that you can integrate into NetSuite if you need more tax flexibility. There are a lot of very useful things in features like items and inventory. One of them being the assembly items that allow building and stocking of assembly items from components. So this can be useful for companies that do have assembly builds versus some other individual item that they're selling. A lot of people like to connect NetSuite to their already existing CRM software like Salesforce, and that can be done, and, and really that's not a problem if that's your preference. In my opinion, I like to have the CRM in a single location where all the rest of my data is, especially because NetSuite already allows for a CRM. Depending on what your business processes are, this may or may not be the best choice for you. You can see some of the features here that are some of the basic features right here. And there are also some more things within the sales side of things with opportunities, forecasting, lead conversion, and team selling. I'm just going to scroll through these features so you can see what is available right now. Analytics is one of the main reasons why a lot of companies go with NetSuite. And there's a good reason for that too. You have a lot of things for your dashboards as well as other more advanced analytics for your system. The analytics features are one reason why a lot of companies like to go with NetSuite. So here are some of the features that can be enabled under the analytics. Well, that's basically all we're going to cover for this video. But if you need to dive further into each one of these features, or if you don't see any of the ones that you want here, go ahead and look in Sweet Answers or go ahead and give us a call and we can help answer your questions.